There have been a lot of positives with the Kings College track and field program and head coach Mike Kolodowski. This weekend, they invited 7th through 12th graders to come in and learn a little more about the ins and outs of track and field. Mike, what a nice weekend to, to have a big event here. Yeah, northeastern Pennsylvania weather, but uh, at least we're indoors today and having a great day. Let's talk about what the kids are doing. You got, uh, well, you got a great pole vault uh, set up over here. You got kids doing shot put and, and uh, high jump in the background as well. Yes, we're having a camp for high school kids, seventh grade to twelfth grade, and so a lot of local kids and even some kids from far away. We have a kid from Connecticut that came down to pole vault with us today, so we're really happy to have him and, and everyone else here today. Getting a lot of attention, these kids. So you're getting some, you know, one on four, or, you know, so a good, a real good ratio for Absolutely. coaches. Talk a little bit about um, track and field growing at Kings and what you hope to do in the area here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Absolutely, yeah. This is our third year as a track and field sport. Um, we're just finishing our indoor season. We're hoping it's going to continue one more week with our uh, national qualifier, Jill Korjeski. Um, but uh, yeah, we w we want to give back a little bit to the community and have kids get interested in track and field. We think it's a great sport, we love it, so we want kids to be interested in it. So we're starting a series of camps here. We did three, two indoor camps this, this past winter. Uh, we're gonna have a free clinic on April 22nd uh, for little kids, um, ages six through 12, to, to come out and learn about track and field at our outdoor facility. And then this summer, we're in the preliminary stages of doing some camps for kids on a weekly basis so they can come out and learn about track and field and kind of you know see what they like and what they what they're interested in. Well, while we have you might as well talk a little about outdoor season talk about the getting practice going and uh, when you're going to actually hit the track this year. Yeah we've actually had had a couple days on the track for sprinters and jumpers so far and some of our distance kids we've been out there so far throws it's been a little bit too muddy and too wet to get them out there but we hope once spring break is over we're hoping to have everybody up at our our brand new facility uh at Betzer Fields. Mike Kolonofsky from King's College with a, a great weekend for track and field here at King's. Joe Gorgeski joining us for the King's College track and field program and so uh, let's talk about helping some of these uh, young athletes between 7th and 12th grade this weekend. Um it's a great opportunity for them to really get out I mean none of their seasons really started yet so for them to have this little bit of an advantage over their competitors to get a little bit of technique in and cover the basics before their season. Uh, at Dunmore, uh, everybody remembers you as a, a phenomenal basketball player, but uh, uh, Coach uh, Kulinowski over here says, uh, what a great, well-rounded young lady you are in all the sports that you're doing here at Kings, uh, and of course your GPA, uh, 3.7, so he said, uh, like more of you. So <laughs> talk a little bit about what the transition's been like for no more basketball, but uh, doing the track and field and doing it quite well, and volleyball as well. Um, I mean, it was definitely a huge transition from going from the high school material to college material. I mean, Dunmore prepares their students and their athletes very well to go on to that next level, so I'm very grateful to be able to go to a high school that helps me for my future. Um, transition was definitely a little difficult. I mean, it's difficult for everyone, but being able to have that background at Dunmore and the consistency of Coach Ben O'Brien and Coach Dempsey and all of my coaches, Coach McHale, having them be able to teach me how to manage my time and really want something for myself and for my teammates definitely helped me. Uh, you're right on the edge here to hoping to make it to Nationals. Uh, the news coming any moment. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what you're looking forward to if that uh, opportunity arises. I'm definitely looking forward to um, making it. If hopefully that comes very nerve-wracking day here for myself and for my coaches. I know that um, it'll be a great opportunity if I could get out there. I'd be super grateful for it, and I look forward to it, hopefully. All right, Joe, great to catch up with you. Thank you. Korjeski qualified for her third consecutive indoor championships. She'll head to Birmingham, Alabama this weekend and represent the Kings College Monarchs track and field program with head coach Mike Kolonofsky.